Hey guys, Fat Basement Dweller here, back for another round of Feed the Beast Ultimate. This is episode 10, so... Since last time, I've gone ahead and built out the base, this room at least, a little bit more with the materials the turtle dug up for us. Uh, I also brought up the coke oven and the uh, blast furnace from the uh, shack. And I went ahead and reworked this tower a little bit. Um, I'm still not happy with how this thing looks. We're going to have to redo it again. I tried to do it half and half like I said I would. Um, half red around and then half blue around. And it looked like crap to me. So for now I've gone ahead and going with the white. And it just occurred to me just as I was starting to record this that I could have tried to intersperse the red and blue blocks and kind of weave them together I don't know how that would look I may have to try that when I start redoing this again because this room's gonna have to be a lot bigger and this is gonna look really stupid if it stays this small as it is right now but for now it works it's got the we got the engines out of the way and the water pumping in here and engines humming along here these are full, right? So, well, we're still pulverizing up some ore. So I guess we can leave them. Well, it's almost done. So, okay. Um, so we got to face reality here. At least I do. Because this is the problem I have so often. Is I'm trying to rush to get to this quarry. And I think I mentioned last time with this MFE that we built. And this one crappy little generator we're not going to be able to run the machines that we need to get the quarry materials particularly the titanium so we need to work on the ic2 infrastructure because quite honestly it's pretty pitiful the way it is right now so before before we get to that i also want to throw in a couple more thermal expansion machines because we're going to want to have the ability to make some redstone energy cells to store some build craft energy because I think the next thing we need to do is build like a tree farm and because as far as our IC2 power generation goes we're probably going to be stuck with these generators for a while I think um, because with Greg Tech complicating solar panels as well as things like windmills and water mills we're um, going to have to rely on these things for a while I think so we're going to need a couple more of these and we're going to have to look into a way of maybe getting some geothermals and getting some lava up here somehow but again getting ahead of ourselves but we need to do this today and within the next episode or two because we really can't make any real progress towards um powering that machine we built last time and then getting the uh, blast or not the blast furnace but the uh, Greg Tech furnace which we need to make a titanium to actually power and run those things so I was trying to scope out a good spot down here for our tree farm because I'm glad I had the jetpack on still Whew, that was close. And I guess that would have been quite entertaining for you guys, but I'm quite glad that I had my jetpack on still. So, as I was saying, I found a spot where there were a couple uh, MFR rubber trees, and I cleared those out as well while I was doing the expansion and moving the stuff up here. Um, and so we can see the saplings here still. So I think um, I'm going to need to put some more rubber trees down here as well as a like regular tree farm because I think we're going to want to make like a charcoal production for uh, IC2 power at least to get us started here and we're going to have to look into some more power storage because that MFE isn't going to cut it either so first uh, I think let's get back up here and 
I think um, the first thing we're going to do is get the materials together for the um, the magma crucible and the um, the other uh, I can't even think of the name of it right now, but the um, thing that's going to let us make obs the obsidian, the hardened glass, the pulverized obsidian into hardened glass, as well as um, fusing our silver and gold for electrum. Because we're going to need both of those to make what we require for the redstone energy cells. So let me gather that stuff up and when I have that done, I'll be right back. Alright guys, I think I have everything I need here. If not, you'll have to watch me do the normal Minecraft thing, running back and forth between chests and crafting tables. But the two machines that we need to finish out, for now at least, are thermal expansion lineup is the induction smelter which the recipe is right here uh, which will allow us to make electrum and other things later on and I'll show you as after we get it set up and the magma crucible for making liquid liquids that melting down the solids like redstone for our power cabling that's more efficient than the build craft stuff so let's go ahead and I already have most of the stuff in the table here and I'm just going to throw the two Invar ingots that we need in here to grab our induction smelter. And for the magma crucible, just go ahead and get the recipe in here and grab that out of there. So. As far as our tree farm goes, I'm going to skip forestry in this playthrough because this is the last version, 1.4.7, that the uh, the old farm blocks are going to be available. In 1.5, Sangir's removed those old farms and forcing people to go to the multi-block farms, and you know the this is a, what it follows is opinion you don't have to agree with this it's not gospel but my personal preference I like the old farms and I don't like the new multi-block farms I played around with them a little bit I guess I really need to just get used to them but as far as I'm concerned if you're going to change the way you do things in a game as a developer entirely from the way things work, from the way people are used to, you don't take options away. You um, you want to add in something to make it fresh, fine. Give people a choice. You don't force people to change, though, however. Unless something is so broken that, you know, it breaks the game. But I just don't see that the uh, old farms were broken in that regard. So taking the option away just kind of rubs me the wrong way. So I'm not going to use those either of the forestry farms here. And I'm going to try something new. I'm going to try the Mine Factory Reloaded farming systems because I've never used it before and a lot of people haven't seen it. So that's what we're going to do in this playthrough. So what we need, first of all, is a planter. And the recipe for that or some mine factory reloaded plastic sheets and a mine factory reloaded machine block and we get those from raw plastic which we get from smelting the rubber bars so the rubber we get from the mine factory reloaded we smelt we get rubber bars and then we smelt them again and we get the raw plastic so I have this stuff over here and I'm just gonna make three sets of these and I think we only need two machine blocks for what we are doing. So just three sheets on three stones. Oh, it looks like I have just enough smooth stone. So, and we need a couple of these flower pots. And I have to check this one with the piston in the middle. So here's our planter. This is what's going to actually do the, obviously, the planting of the trees for us. And just like with forestry, we need one to plant the stuff and one to harvest. So 
in this case we're going to need a harvester and we still have the old forestry ones here these will not be here as far as I've seen at least the last time I checked the newest version of forestry removes these entirely so if you like these kiss, kiss them goodbye because once uh, feed the beast or these mod packs are uploaded out of beta for these these will be gone so we want the mine factory reloaded harvester so same thing except in the metal we need two shears and a golden axe and I've gone ahead already and made these things because everybody these are vanilla everybody should know how to make these already and just three more plastic sheets and a block down here now these things are going to need some build craft power to run so I'm gonna just for now I'm just gonna make a couple of of build craft sterling engines to run them and I don't know like I said I haven't used these before so you and me are both gonna find out together whether or not this is going to be sufficient enough to power these things and once we get a little bit more advanced here we'll be able to run some more better power to these things and I believe these can actually use either build craft or um, industrial craft power so once we get on the ball with our industrial craft power maybe we'll be able to run some wires down to this thing or once we get to our actual ability to build some solar panels or something that we don't need to be on the network for we can do that I guess we'll see as things progress here but for now we have what we need for our farms we just need to finish off these uh, sterling engines and see if if I can these are cobblestone right it's not smooth stone so I guess I'm gonna need one more piston Yeah, so let's go ahead and make one more piston here. Do I have iron on me? Yes, excellent. And I guess I'll pull another one since we're going to need it eventually. I'll probably regret it since I think that's the last last of my wood. So I'll probably have to go chop some more of that here shortly. So this, this. No, I know I'm not out of cobble. <laughs> you know you're really hurting when you run out of cobble, if you run out of cobble. All right, so let's go back in our, well, it's dark here. Let's sleep through the night because, well, I don't think I've been having problems with this. You never know. I did have a wisp come up here and start harassing me that I had to take care of, which is why I hit level 30 off camera. I haven't been doing anything that exciting, just been getting harassed by wisps coming up from the uh, Domcraft. Uh, chest thing that we raided like oh six episodes ago I think over there right over there so once we can get to that spawn or we'll go ahead and dig in there and take care of that so let's um, put our magma crucible I guess here next to our igneous extruder and our induction smelter can go here so the reason I made this right now is just for the electrum because we're going to need to start making some industrial craft wiring. I have set up the MFE with the uh, output on the bottom so I can run the wire down through here. And I believe that's the one thing that I am going to need to gather more materials for here. So instead of doing that, since the day is young, we just slept through the night, let's head down to the spot that I picked up picked out for my uh, forestry or yeah tree farm that's not going to be forestry just so used to saying that take grab some of this coal to bring with us and I know I said I wasn't going to make charcoal and waste the time but I think we should automate the production because we're going to need the power at least in the early stages here for it so let's go ahead and do that and not die. 
because I don't have any rubber boots on yet. I need to go ahead and do that soon as well. So this is the spot I've picked out preliminary for the uh, tree farm. I, I really don't want to knock down a lot of these cool biome trees, but may have to grab some of the saplings and replant them. But yeah, I really love these trees, which is why I picked this spot for the base in the begin with. I think I said that a couple episodes ago, but it's still true two episodes or so later. So once we clear out this stuff, I hear a creeper. Where are you? Oh, it's a wisp. Damn wisps. And I don't have any... I do have a bow. I don't know if that's going to be sufficient in taking care of this guy. But let's go ahead and... Stick the planner right here. Wow. For some reason... Oh. These blocks, I thought they were going to act as a uh, transparent and let light through, but <clears throat> apparently they act as a translucent block instead, so light does not come through them. So let's grab the uh, planner. And what we need to do is put this in the ground here, and how are we going to do this? I guess for now we're going to have to put Yeah, I haven't really thought this out very well, I'm finding out, but... Um, grab this. If we put the planter here, and put the engine here and I don't know if these will work for these oh, I guess they should since they're from mine factory loaded but what we really want I guess we can use um, these for now and I put the harvester there way to go planter we want the planter here so, what we want to do is have these in here for now. And what originally this will only plant in a 3x3 three three pattern. So, we're not, our tree farm is not going to be very big to start with, but we'll be able to put an upgrade in here to extend the range of it but for right now this is going to suit our needs I probably will extend it maybe off camera after I show how to make the uh, upgrade so let's look at that now so basically the, we have the lapis upgrade which increases it by one the iron upgrade by two that's I don't know, that's kind of weird. Iron's a lot easier to get than lapis. Tin upgrade by three, copper by four, and then bronze, silver, gold, quartz. That must be um, the neither quartz, but that's not in this version yet. Let's take a look at that. Kind of, oh, that uses the... Uh, Applied Energistics Quartz. I think in the 1.5 version you can use the uh, Vanilla Neither Quartz as well. But don't quote me on that. I'm not sure since I haven't really played with that 1.5 yet since the uh, mod packs are still only in beta version. And while I'm quite able to put the mods together myself, just keeping the, them updated and functional all together with the versions of Forge, it's just... More trouble than it's worth when these mod packs are available, so I'm just waiting for the uh, beta version to be finalized and put out a uh, non-beta final version for us to play with. I actually haven't checked on that in about a week, but I don't think it's out of beta yet. 
But then we have the emerald plat and platinum. So that you can either use the thermal expansion shiny ingots, or since we have uh, Greg Tech installed, there's actual platinum you can get as well. So yeah, so those are how you make the upgrades, and then you just plug them into the upgrade slot. And wow, it's really dark under this. I don't know if it will even grow very well. I guess we'll have to put some torches around this farm. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get this going here instead of me yapping on continuously, which is starting to bore me. So I know you guys must be bored to tears. So we got the stuff in there. Let's go ahead and throw some uh, coal in here. And I guess, of course, we're also going to need a redstone signal. So let's go ahead and make a lever here. Way to go. You can tell I haven't been playing this very much, and I apologize for the lack of videos, but again, I've been having trouble with my ISP and my upload speeds, and I haven't been able to upload any uh, videos because between YouTube giving me problems and my ISP giving me problems, those are the causes of uh, the lack of videos for the most part and we're gonna need to put this dirt back here and you can see it's starting to plant so hopefully I believe that'll be more than enough power to get us going we're just gonna have to keep uh, refueling grab this here and we're gonna have to find a place to put the harvester down so one two put this dirt block here so we can put a tree down so we're basically only going to have enough trees for here and if we put dirt here it'll also plant on top of that but then of course we won't have access to it unless we make a way to get to it which probably we're going to need to do but in the meantime let's um go ahead and put the harvester down with our other engine and this face here needs to face what you're harvesting. And again, this thing's only going to harvest in a 3x3, three three, so if we put it here, it's only going to be able to reach this second row. So let's pick this back up again and put it here. And this hole here in the back is where it's going to spit the stuff out. So if we put a chest here, um, we can get the stuff. And we're going to need to do that because we don't want the stuff going all over the ground. So... For now, let's put the engine here, make another lever, or lever if you like. Stick that right on there by shift click, shift clicking it on, and it's getting dark. And we're going to have to run up and sleep through so we don't get creepered on our new farm here. But stick some coal in here, and once these grow we'll turn this on and once we get a steady supply of um, saplings going we should be able to uh, run this and not have to at least not have to chop it manually every time so let me go ahead and sleep and give this a little bit of time to grow find some bone meal and I'll be right back alright so I actually had a bunch of bone meal in my uh, mob drop chest up there already so I didn't have to go hunting down some so I went ahead and put chests down here this should be good enough for now since we're actually going to need to manually feed these saplings in until we get enough which is another reason why I got to dig down here let me go ahead and do that now since I want to show you guys something else you don't have to put the same thing into each of these uh, spots as I did. Uh, you can actually put anything in here that grows as far as farming wise goes. Sugar cane, regular vanilla trees, I believe the biome trees will work as well. Um, you know, we anything will work and you put it in, it'll plant it in the respective spot as far as uh, the, the planter goes. And as you upgrade put the upgrades in you could it'll put 
more in the respective spots as the plot grows outward. And it looks like one of our trees already grew here, so I didn't need the bow meal for demonstration purposes, but let's go ahead and see if we can't. No, it doesn't want to work. Maybe they're too, it's too close to this other one. So this is going to be a problem, at least for now. But let's go ahead and fire this thing up and so we can see how this works. takes a minute before it fi finds it so it doesn't create lag. I hear something going on. Maybe this engine is just not good enough for this thing. We'll have to uh, work on that, I guess, and get us a better engine down here. But this will cut down everything. And maybe, no, it's not on sheer leaves. So, yeah, apparently this engine's just, like, too ghetto for this particular machine. It, it's working well for the planner for our purposes, but, yeah, we're going to have to uh, upgrade this engine here. Not nearly enough power, but if we got it... Uh, well, from what it shear from it shearing the leaves and we did get a sapling so we can grab that and put it back in here and this thing once we up once I get a better engine for it it'll work a lot it'll work a lot faster it's the, it'll cut down the leaves and then it'll cut down the uh, tree and it'll grab the wood any saplings we get and the rubber that comes out of these trees as well and it'll end up in the chest here for us and once we get the uh, materials, we can actually automate this and pull the stuff out of the chest and run it down through and stick it back in the planter again. And then once we do that, the only problem we'll have is actually being able to fuel these things. But like I said, in the early stages here, we're trying to actually catch up to where we can get to our uh, first big goal, the quarry. So this will work for now. And once we get the charcoal form set up, we'll have our industrial craft power going up here. And then we'll be able to expand out. And while I think of it, before we end off here, I did have to upgrade um, the versions to the last final version of the 1.47 Ultimate Pack. And Greg Tech has added more stuff. So it's bumping us back in our progression here, unfortunately. Now, instead of ingots, our quarry needs metal plates. These titanium plates, which require a plate bending machine. So, we're uh, back to almost where we started. We need another machine to make these plates. And I don't know if we need a machine <laughs> to make that machine as well. Because I know it's added more than just that plate bending machine. So let's look up the uh, recipe real quick for that. Not to get discouraged too much, but okay. Compressor, compressor, we can do that. Hmm. You need a plate bending machine to make a plate bending machine? That can't be right. Okay, we can make it with a refined iron. Okay, so we only need that one added machine. So. We're going to have to get around to that, but it's kind of silly to go and keep going along that line until we get our power up to snuff. So in the next episode, we're going to continue working on our industrial craft power machines. We're going to make use, our, use some uh, gold ingots. Do we have any in here? Great. Make a couple. Silver. Any silver? Okay. Make some electrum to go ahead and um, make best use of our diamonds for our dime for our uh, glass fiber cabling. And yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. Next episode, we'll start with that and work start keep working our way up to our quarry. It feels like this is taking forever, and maybe it is, but 
that is really the point of the Greg Tech uh, mod author. This stuff was too easy, he thought before. So you should be uh, progressing through your Stone Age and then your Bronze Age and all that good stuff before you get these uh, nice heavy machinery. Um, some people like it, some people don't. Maybe it doesn't make for great filming. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know if I should do more off camera. But until then, thanks for watching. And next time, we will continue our quest for the uh, Loose Ever Elusive Quarry. See you next time, guys.